Hey, 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 are you ready? Are you ready to transform your digital marketing agency and tap into the lucrative world of Yelp? That's right. I am talking about Yelp. I just learned something super exciting and we're calling it the Yelp Blueprint. It's your ticket to expanding your services and securing steady income as well as helping your digital marketing agencies in tourist-rich areas like my own. You can actually even target tourist-rich areas like the one right in my backyard here in Honolulu, Hawaii. But if you have, there's tons of other areas, but let's just talk about that. I'm so excited about this new strategy. I haven't been so excited in a long time. Actually, even today, I just past my Go High Level Admin. So I just have to throw that out there. Of course, I posted that as well as my new win for today, like this morning. I looked like crap this morning, but I literally got up at five, you know, earlier than five, actually. And I took my certification and got blessed with passing great finally. So super excited about that. But anyways, we're here to talk about the Yelp blueprint that I just came across, and it's designed specifically for digital marketing agencies who want to target areas that have restaurants in tourist rich areas that have a lower ranking than 10. So the first step, I'm actually going to show you exactly step by step on how you can set this up for your restaurant clients. And I'm so excited about doing this tutorial because what you're going to get is a low maintenance, high return offer that you can share with restaurant owners. So if you know restaurant owners, send them my way. (laughs) But for those of you who are agency owners and want to target restaurants, this hot new Yelp blueprint offer is going to be something that you want to pay attention to. And once I was like, why didn't I think of this? One of my mentors showed me how to do this. And I don't want you to lose the opportunity pass you by. Okay. So I am actually going to be sharing this with all of my affiliates, right? Step by step. And I'm actually going to share with you too. So if you're not one of my affiliates, now I'll share with you exactly how I do this. But of course, if you want my templates and the step by step, the entire workflow, you know, just go ahead and click the link in the description, get your free trial of Go High Level with my link and I'll send it over to you. It'll make your life so much easier, but I just don't want you to pass by this opportunity to help other business orders are actually hidden gems on Yelp. Because the first thing I'm going to say is I've always been kind of like, oh, you know, Yelp, not a very good company. I just don't like their sales tactics. Their salespeople attack you and make you feel like you have to pay them their services or their, you know, pay for advertising on their platform in order to keep your status or to get any views and status on Yelp, but it's actually not true. So I'm actually going to share with you something that you can share with your restaurant owners on how to get the feedback loop. So basically, this is the strategy. So if you're not on my email list, I've been sharing with my list here that we're on spring break. So what do we do? I'm kind of a foodie. I actually love to eat. Okay, so when we're on break, we're, you know, it's kind of a monopoly, right? Well, where else do you look? Got to look on Yelp. What are the top places, right? So most people are going to go in, whether you're using the mobile app or you're using the desktop, you're going to search for live music and anywhere from a breakfast, brunch. What are the best places to eat for Italian food, sushi in your specific area? And especially tourist areas. And when I saw that, I was like, that's my backyard. We're on spring break. We're looking for things to do, kid-friendly places. So you're going to go to Yelp, right? I mean, some of you may go to Google, but most of the time, if you're talking about food and restaurants, right, you're going to go to Yelp. How do you find those hidden gems that are just not showing up on the top 10? You rarely go to the next page, but you as a digital agency or a marketer, that's where you're going to want to actually focus your attention to. So the companies and restaurants that have good reviews, they're just not showing on number one. So what you're going to do is you're going to note those down. So when you come back from vacation, spring break, for some of you who are still on vacation, this is going to help you fund your next vacations, okay? So you're going to go and you're going to message 
and find the website of these companies that are on page two or page three or restaurants, right? And then when you get back home, we're going to go ahead and search for those and message them. You're not going to message them through the Yelp app. You're going to actually go and find their website, see if there's an email. Do not try to email them through, you know, their platform. If they have a nice little website, you can see that they're actually doing business. They got some good reviews. Those are the people that you want to work with, right? So they have a pretty decent website. And if they don't, there's an opportunity to sell them a a website or a funnel. But the opportunity here is to help them and get in touch with them, right? So you go and message them. And I actually have a template for those of you, again, who are in my affiliate. I have a template of exactly what you can say and email these potential clients or prospects to get them as a client. And then the beauty of it is that you can set them up with a funnel. Okay, so I am, of course, like I said, a high level expert. And again, for those of you who are my affiliates, I'll give you actually this funnel template. So I was actually looking at one of my friend's accounts and she was showing me this one thing and I was like, I'm going to duplicate something similar to that. So I made this fictitious business. Okay, so say I'm going to go after a pokey bowl place. Who doesn't love pokey, right? This is the feedback loop. We're going to create a simple landing page. Okay, so this is the funnel site, right? Right inside of there, right? So you're going to go in here and I'm going to give you this template. And all you have to do is click on edit and go inside of the system and just change out their logo. And then you can just change out this copy, right? But you want to give away something of some kind of freebie offer. So you can let them know like, hey, we can actually create a page just like this. You can show them this like a demo page, right? You're going to collect the name and phone number. And then you're going to set them with an account, of course, in here. And you're going to charge them up front a setup fee to get this funnel, right? So you're going to give them this funnel, design them this really quick. It literally will take you two minutes to like change out their logo, change out the colors. And then they're going to opt in and put their name and phone number because we're going to do text message marketing for this restaurant client. And then when they opt in, they're going to put in their phone number and click on it. And then on the next page, it'll just basically say, thanks for completing the form. So we'll change it to this thank you page. You're in. Check your phone for text messages with your deal code. Okay. So they're going to get that. And then I'm going to show you the workflow here. So when they opt into that form, they enter their name and phone number. We're just going to ask for their name and phone number. That's it. So we're doing text message marketing for them. It's going to tag Yelp demo right now. I just have like a demo, a thing here. But you can rename the tag, whatever you want. And then the SMS is going to text the client. Hey, first name. This is the username or the prospect, right? Whoever's account this is from XYZ company, Pokey Pokey. And here is the coupon for 50% off. You know, you can make this up, right? You can help the client with your marketing strategy and help them find out like what freebie offer they can give, right? So you can change and customize that for the client. Then it's going to wait 45 minutes because this is the deal. So what we're going to do is actually have it so that you're going to actually give them marketing tools, right? So you're going to charge them a $1,000 setup fee. And within that $1,000, you're going to give them a bunch of like designed flyers that have this code, right? It's a QR code. And you're going to take $30 out of that $1,000 setup fee, basically, and have these cards created that they can have in the restaurant. And so the strategy here is that when the customer comes into the store, say I'm going into the pokey shop, right? and I see this flyer and I want to take advantage of 20% off of my next visit, I'm going to scan that QR code or go to the website and then opt in for this awesome code deal, right? So now the client has this customer on its list. And then the reason why I have that trigger right there to wait another 45 minutes, because what? They're probably having dinner, right? They're eating their food. They're enjoying what they experienced. Because the next text message is going to be, hey, first name, hey, client or prospect, right? We hope you enjoyed visiting the Bogey Bogey place, right? And of course, you edit this. Please rate us from a scale of one to five. Your feedback is valued. The automation here now is set to have a condition. The condition is when the customer replies anything between five or four, 
it's going to go into one section. If it wasn't a good review and anything below a four, anything three, two, or one, then it's going to go into another condition. Okay. So if it's a good review, anything four and five, and we're going to automatically text the client customer. Great to hear, Emily. Would you mind checking in with us on Yelp and tell others how we did? You can check in on our business right here and then you put the link to the Yelp page for them to review. Okay, so you're going to use a short link. You don't want to put a bit.ly link because that's going to be against text messaging rules. So you're going to create a short link for the customer. Put that in there. And then you're actually going to kind of tweak this because the most important thing that you want to do also is give the customer some ideas of what to put in their review. This is, again, another important feedback loop because the Yelp algorithm wants to see that this place is going to be ranked for a certain word, this pokey place, right? We want to say, hey, can you please leave us a review about your experience about our certain pokey bowl or please use the word pokey bowl in your review. Let us know what your brunch experience was. If you came in for brunch, please you know, use those words in your review, something to that effect. Hopefully you're getting what I'm putting down here. So that's that part of getting the algorithm in Yelp to be in the favor of the restaurant. The second part is we don't want anybody less than a four. We don't want anybody posting any negative reviews under a four. We don't want three, two or one reviews, right? So in this condition, if the client or customer submits replies three, two, or one, we're going to give the notification to the customer, hey, go and check your messages because somebody left you a three, two, or a one. And then it's automatically going to text, oh no, I hate to hear that. Could you specifically tell me what went wrong during your visit and how we could do better? I'd like to fix this for you. Okay. So this flow or automation is going to kick off and then the internal notification is going to go to the client to go and check her text message reviews and go and fix the problem. Here's the great caveat. It's not going to text them the link to their Yelp page. I mean, obviously, if they had a really bad time and they want to leave a bad feedback, but let's not make it easy for someone to go and leave a bad feedback on Yelp, right? So this is the most powerful. So I just went through the step by step. So you're charging them the offer setup fee of $1,000. And this is all suggestions, okay? So this is something that if you want to gain more clients using high level as a software, as a service, you can make $1,000, anywhere up to $1,000. I mean, you can probably charge less than that if you wanted to, but I say charge $1,000 up front. And then for this automation, literally, plus you've got to think about your time, right? You have your time creating this landing page, your time giving them the strategy and your time setting up this workflow, which will literally take you two minutes if you download the workflow for me. But here's the caveat, because I've been looking for something. I feel that this is so valuable that they're going to want to pay for you not to turn off this software, not to turn off the workflow. You can charge anywhere between $100 to $290. I would charge $297 a month just for this software so that they basically are paying you not to turn it off, okay? This is going to be so valuable to them to have a software as a service working for them 24-7, watching their reviews, helping them get more reviews on Yelp, helping them put the right reviews with the right keywords onto their Yelp page to help the feedback, help them boost the algorithm for their Yelp page by telling them what to do, okay? In marketing, we have to tell people what to do. We have to give them a call to action. And so this workflow is going to assist them with this feedback loop to help them gain rankings in their specific keyword, whether they want to be ranked for Live music, best breakfast, best brunch, Italian food, sushi, pokey, right? 
whatever the business is, right? So I thought it would be really fun to create a landing page for a pokey company, but you can just simply take the landing page that I just shared with you, use that as a template, switch out the logo, switch out the colors. And in the workflow, I'm actually going to film an entire step-by-step -step tutorial for my affiliates who sign up with Go High Level right now. But as you can see, I literally didn't like hide anything from you. So you basically just create a condition based on customer replied between four or five or three, two, and one. And of course, don't give them the link if someone replies three, two, or one. So that is the Yelp feedback loop or the Yelp blueprint. And again, the offer for this, restaurant owners are going to want to have you do this for them. I also have a template and can have a template that you can create flyers for them that have the phone number or have the website that you create for the landing page so that they can build their text messaging list. And now they can market to people who have been to the business before. And if they haven't posted a review as well, too, you can keep marketing to them. Again, feel super confident in being able to offer a thousand dollar setup and literally be generating $250, $300 a month semi-passive income for them not to want you to turn it off. Like you can just set it up once. You'll never have to touch it again. I can show you the exact training that I'll be giving to them when they actually sign up and on the onboarding. If you add in that bonus of which I think is super valuable, like get them flyers within the first thousand dollar setup fee, spend $30 and get them flyers made so that they have it in their restaurant and you're driving traffic to that landing page that you created. And if they want more, you can just charge them for that. Right. So that's another upsell. You have this awesome designed flyer that you can put the landing page that you created for them, help them build their text message marketing email list with past clients or customers help them build the Yelp algorithm and have this feedback loop of good reviews being posted with the right keywords, helping them get ranked to page one. Hopefully that is the idea. And then being in charge them basically 250 to $300 a month. Just basically, again, I cannot say this more, but when I had that revelation, basically for them not to have you turn it off, like you set it up once. They'll never want to turn it off because they're getting more reviews and they don't have to ask people. They don't have to bug people. It's in the system, automated. And then again, they can take care of their customer relationship management, anything that they need to address right away, right there, being notified and the manager can be notified or whoever is part of the company. You can set up the notification so anybody who's in management level can get notified of like, who's giving us a three, two or one, right? I hope this was helpful. And hopefully I went into enough details, but basically that's how the Yelp blueprint works. I'm super excited to provide the exact standard operating procedures, the workflow to my affiliates. Again, click the link in the description, get your trial of high level. If you're already on there with my link, check your email because I have all of the step-by-step -step masterclass and these templates and tutorials for you and how you can just start calling and messaging these people who are restaurants in tourist towns that are needing your help. They literally need your help. They're too busy in the business working their business. Some of my favorite restaurants out there, I'm like, how do they do it? But why are they not on page one? Okay, so they're hidden gems and they deserve to be on the top. So let's help them you know, get bypass the whole Yelp needing to pay for ads, you know, myth. If you help them with this strategy, they'll definitely gain the system and get on top without having to pay for more advertising. Why don't they just pay you? All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, comment below. Much love and aloha, and we'll see you on the next one.